hockey. It's a snowy one outside, but we've got some good hockey for you indoors here on CCX. So tonight, the Eden Prairie Eagles pay a visit here to the top-ranked YZ Trojans. Hi, I'm Jay Wilcox, along with Dan Ficken. And Dan, we saw this YZ team win the Turkey Trot Tournament, and it's been a, a great season so far. They're ranked number one right now. Had a tie with Andover last time out, but have been playing some great hockey. Oh, they really have. We watched them in a turkey trot. We're very impressed. Noted right away, this is probably a tournament team. Well, that's looking pretty good. They're number one right now. And for Eden Prairie, a slow start to this year, but they've won three of their last four. They've got a new head coach now. It's Mike Terwilliger comes over from Bloomington Jefferson. A young team, only one senior, but they're, they're getting there. They're getting better as they go. Well, you look at the record. Three losses were by one goal. One goal. So they're that close to being a top-notch team here. And they're going to give boys that everything they got today. And those losses also against very good opponents, too. So you can't, can't overlook that part of them. This rivalry has been a great one here. Let's look at key players to look at in today's game, starting with uh, Eden Prairie. We're going to go with a, a junior, a rangy junior wing. Pretty familiar hockey name, Cole Satterdahlen. Yeah, he has a little relation to that Blumen and Jefferson guy, you know, that won a lot of state champs. Big kid, good. Uh, power forward, really goes to the net hard. Um, he's he's really a good hockey player, bat both ways. And for Wyzetta, we're going to talk about the guy centering their first line here tonight. Reese Wallen has had a very good start to the season, too. Perfect center. This kid can do it all. He's up and down, plays both D and offense, but feeds his wings wonderfully, sets them up very nice. He's a really good hockey player. All right, should be a good one here tonight. The Eagles and the Trojans do battle next year. Boys hockey from the Lake Conference is on the way next year on CCX. Welcome back. We're going to get this one in. A lot of games were postponed tonight because of the weather, but the Eagles and the Trojans are here at Plymouth Ice Center to uh, do battle here in Lake Conference play as we get set for face-off here this evening. And said Wyzetta off to a 5-0-1 start. Last game a tie with Andover, the defending state champion. Boy, if you look at their schedule, Jay, I'll tell you what, it's been murderous. They have played some of the top teams in the state already, and they're 5-0-1, so they got tournament possibilities right now looking at them. Isaiah Paulnock, the junior, will get the start for the Eagles. You see what he's done so far, 3-3 three three of the 1.65 goals against, and a 9.20 save percentage already a couple of shutouts. Will Ingeman, one of the state's premier goalies, has played every game for... The Trojans, every minute of every game, in fact, and 1.43 goals against and 9.50 save percentage. And we are underway here to begin this contest as the Eagles win the draw here. Mason Moe with it, and they're offside on the way in there. Well, good puck movement by the Eagles. Just a little delayed on that second pass to get through, costing the offside. Rosetta got a sweep last year of the Eagles. It's been a good rivalry. You know, and, and at times there have been situations where maybe like Eden Prairie was the favorite and Wyzetta knocked yep. them off. Now Eden Prairie trying to do the opposite here tonight. But I, I don't know. I always feel like it's not really an upset that much regardless of which of these teams is, is having a better win-loss season because they both are capable of beating each other even in the best of years for the other. Uh, late conference is strong from top to bottom. I mean, given that anybody could beat anybody else. Flipped out front, turn around, try was blocked, but then it's loose. Oh, oh, and Wallen had an empty net, but couldn't quite get the backhander. Throwing up the net here, but hits 
Jibber Cool, and we'll get a hand pass call here coming up against YZ. As you get another look, this one caromed around, and it was a little bit behind Wallen trying to get to it there as the pass came beyond uh, Paul Knox reach. He made a nice play, though, Jay. Even after he missed a shot, he stayed after, and he made a nice play out to the point. Off the draw, Trojans unable to get it out. Dumped back in behind the net. Case and Sauer back to pick it up. Eagles able to get possession here and dumped in off the body of Cade de St. Hubert. Hunter Crowley took a check there. Another of the Jefferson line that's now Eden Prairie, Mike Crowley's son. And, and uh, as you said, Paul Satterdahl and his Jeff Satterdahl and son, Tom Satterdahl and his grandson. That's a lot of big hockey names, Jay. That's for sure. Billy Jacobson couch dumping it in and hopped over Ingeman's stick. Trojans get it out to neutral here. But then taken back. Up to the Rosetta line and flip right back out. Tate Block up with it here for Eden Prairie. Drops it over now. Rio Trihar and firing. Blocker saving him. And rebound popped up in the air, but they'll get it on out. Ryan Coring back to get it here for Eden Prairie. Leaves it for Block. And then chipped in the air as they tried to break it out up the middle. Brooks Gengler got in. Now Gengler up with it. His shot denied. Tapped away from him over to Satterdahl, and then he'll start it up. Treharn receiving that pass. Floated to the middle, but a nice stick there by Jake White of Wyzetta. Well, that one could have been trouble. Satterdahl and trying to put it into the circle there, and then it's flicked into the Wyzetta bench. Another look at this pass, or excuse me, that shot that Kind of handcuffed. I mean, he handled it well, but those are sometimes tough to do anything with. Uh, up on the blocker side like that, but Ingman did a nice job of not giving up too juicy of a rebound. Ooh. Here's an opportunity after the face off. It's loose in front. Couple of whacks at it. The Eagles have played pretty strong here to begin the game. Now, Jibber Cool carrying it up the left side, floating it out front there for a Jacob Plasnik. He's had a great start. For his uh, freshman season, leading the team in assists. Only well, one thing was having to Eden Perry's been very good on the faceoffs, and it's created that last opportunity for him. Paul Knox swings it around. Cool. And it makes something happen. Now Reese Wallen up with it here for Wyzetta. Go to the point, and this one deflecting up high over the net. Sauer. Ringing it around. Trojans trying to complete a change, and now the pass floated through center. Teddy Townsend giving chase. Sauer got a shoulder into him. Now KD St. Hubert sending it over. Here's Kwasnicka trying to float one out front. Luke Miller following up, finding Sauer. Sauer's shot hit a teammate in front, Kwasnicka. And Andy Earl sliding it across here for the Eagles as Crowley had it knocked away. In the YZ zone and then back out is Miller floating it ahead across to Jake Matson. Matson trying to go to the net and it's covered here by Paul Knock. And we're going to stop it here with 12.45 to go in the first and no score on the board. Officially one shot each up on the scoreboard here. Uh, both teams kind of up, going up and down here a little bit. Both goalies getting tested. They're all warmed up now and should have a nice game there. Trojans win the draw. White shot goes wide. Back out to center. White gaining control here for the Trojans. Eden Prairie trying to complete a quick change and then a takeaway at the blue line by Earl. Chance for a two on one. Pass got away a little bit. And then the shot deflected up high. Satterdahl swoops in to pick it up here for the Eagles, floating it out high. Ooh, and then hops over the stick there of Reistorf. 
Onside as they bring it in and floated out front there, back into by Jackson Hill. And Paul Knock wasn't going to take any chances. He'll just hang on. Well, both teams with good rushes here back and forth. They're putting some pressure on. It's just a team that now starts getting smooth, putting two or three passes together. Good play right there. Never give up on the puck. Off the draw, it lays loose in the circle for a moment here. Now the Eagles are able to gain control. Finn D. St. Hubert. Starting Wallen back. Wallen shot. Wide of the net. And the Eagles unable to get it out. Krasnicka putting it out front. Ooh, and that one kind of handcuffed. Pull knock a little bit off of the Matson Tool shot there. Broken up at the Wayzata Blue Line as Krasnicka picks it up. Uh-oh, and then he nearly lost it. Wallen pushes it over now to Jack Hartle. Finn D. St. Hubert deflecting off Wallen's stick. He tried to take that one right back from Dylan Bornwald. And he goes going to be offside there as that one was knocked away just after Mo had gotten into the zone. There's a look at Mike Terwilliger, the he said new head coach, Stephen Perry, but certainly not new to the hockey world. As I said, Jefferson head coach for four years, and I'm in the Eden Prairie and Edina programs as assistant, and he's a great player at Edina. Yep. Late 80s state champion. Flipped in here, and Paul not swinging it around. Going wide of the net here. Sauer pinching in to keep it alive for the Trojans. Now Sauer wound up with it, but knocked away from him. And now a rush the other way. Mason Moe waiting for some help behind. Slides it back. And they go back oh, to Moe, one. but broken up. Good patience, but a recovery by the D there. And it's going to be icing as Paul Knock watches it slip past. Well, Hawkoff made a good play, and it's right here. This is a good. Pass and back foot there, right there. Nice play. The D never gave up on it. He got back in front and he guarded against that pass coming across. Yeah, that was a. Uh, I mean, I was not expecting that second pass to come back, and I think a, a really good read to stay with it. That shot attempt knocked down, but the four check coming as Jackson Hill plays it behind for Britton Allstead, who's tied up. Back down there by Gengler. And back out to neutral it comes. Alex Score sending it in. Both teams said they'll plan to play three sets of D pretty regularly here tonight. And again in the late conference, that's not terribly unusual. Earl shot blocked. He gets it again. Ooh. And Ingeman making the save. And there's another eagle lurking there out front. Now Gengler. Gengler shot blocked. Another try, knocked wide. The Eagles have done a pretty good job limiting Wyzetta's offense so far. They're not giving him a lot of room in that slot area, Jay. Oh, oh and that one, Krasnicka trying to glove it down to his stick and just couldn't quite gain control of it there as he had Paul knocked down. I'm wondering how many people would make their way here through the snow, but hey, it's Minnesota. It's a good crowd. All unable to pick it up. Not a lot of seats available. Battle forward in behind there. Bornwald getting it up the wall. Findy St. Hubert got to it. Krasnicka spinning away and found Wallen trying to float it ahead to Cool. Looked to tap it around the D to himself, but it didn't quite pan out. Now Eagles. Coming back, Satterdahl on into a shallow angle, and Ingeman able to make that stop. And then the long breakout pass actually hit an eagle coming just off the bench, or probably would have been an icing. Ooh, solid check thrown by Sauer there for the Trojans. Welcome to high school hockey, Minnesota, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it hasn't been an especially physical game, but that's probably the best of the night so far. Cool, carrying it ahead. Ooh, and he is 
drilled, and that's going to be a penalty coming up here. Ryan Coring took him down. I think that was a little uh, payback for that last hit up that we just were talking about. Both teams got good size, though. I do expect them to get physical. Uh, they can skate well, but sometimes that separation is done by the physicality that you start turning on. But I think the officials are discussing. Oh, might yeah. this be five? It might. You had a clear view of that number. Looks like they're going to call it a rough and uh, two-minute penalty. Well, the Trojans right now, the power play is running at about 25 percent, which is right on on the mark the way you should be. Eden Prairie's killing it at 92 percent. KP St. Hubert dropping it back. Now it gets the return. Allstead. Allstead carrying it to the circle. Fire stick saved there by Apollon. Trojans keep possession down in the corner now. Allstead again with it. Huff. Shoots and scores. Oh my gosh. I don't think it hit anybody on the way in. I think it's going to be Huff's goal for the Trojans. So, boy, coaches always preach to their teams, you know, we don't take penalties, stay out of the box. And it'll be Huff converting for his very first goal as a Trojan. Well, nice shot, you know, and again, that, that's that whole deal. Like, if you're going to shoot, put it on the net. You never know what's going to happen here. I think he was screened. I think uh, an eagle and a, and a Trojan walked in front of Polnock and screened him. Yeah, he didn't have a clue. Allstead will get the assist. It indeed is the first career goal for Hawk Huff. Trojans lead 1-0. Now a deflection going just wide here for the Eagles. So the first penalty of the game becomes... Ooh. Use it becomes the uh, first goal of the game as well after neither team had really done a whole lot offensively up to that point. Cool. Throwing it up front. Kwasnick is denied. Boy, that was... I don't know if he had a real good look at it, but he just knew he was going to be there and put it right on Kwasnick's step. KD St. Hubert behind the net looking for the wraparound. Didn't get a lot on it as his stick was checked there. And then thrown down the rink here by the Eagles. We'll get an icing call and head back into the Eden Prairie zone. So Wyzetta now leading it one nothing. There's Bill Rooney, an assistant coach for the Trojans, who is uh, kind of the acting head coach here tonight as Pat O'Leary has to sit this one out. Bill, a longtime head coach with Cooper, and then he's been here at Wyzetta for, for a long time. They've got an experienced staff, too, so uh, they weren't too worried about it. But... Well, so far, the four check of Wyzetta has been effect very effective and created a lot of good opportunities for them. And a penalty upcoming as Luke Miller was splitting the D and he was tripped up. And so it'll be a hook, and Wyzetta will go right back on the power play here. Boy, you don't want to do that, especially after you just got nailed on the power play. But. You can see the stick there as he dug in. The first move would have been okay, but then he went for a second one, driving that stick down, and that's what got the trip. Jacobson Couch will go for hooking at 11 10 here of the first. As Nicka's pass, Satterdahl and deflecting that away. Wallen up with it. Wallen throwing it across oh. to Kwasnicka, just got deflected. Nice job by Earl to get a piece of that one for EP, or that one would have been a golden chance. Carried back in now. Finn D. St. Hubert had it poke checked out of there. The Eagles unable to clear it all the way down, but they do get it back into neutral, and Wyzetta regroups. Wallen 
getting some speed built up here. Satterdahl and Fell. Ball and carries it all the way around the horn. Now he'll drop it back. D. St. Hubert at the point. Wozniaka swinging a miss, trying for the one-timer. Thrown on net here, and Hallmark with the stop. Well, Kesnicki here has got a couple good opportunities here, set up real nice on the backside. And they got the puck to him. They just whiffed on it, but uh, so far he's having a pretty good game. He's getting opportunities, and he's the one guy. You know, he had 10 points on that team. He's got six goals. Well, I'm sorry, two goals, and 10 assists, 12 points. Flip down the rink here, and Ingeman will stop it, leave it for Hawk Huff. 4.40 to go in the first. one nothing YZ. They scored a power play goal a couple minutes back. And now on their second power play of the night. Ooh, flipping down there was Alstead. And then it hops over Miller's stick. Huff will come back to retrieve it here for the Trojans. Alstead carries it up the left side. A good tie up by the Eagles there. Just wasted a lot of time on those boards. They got the right amount of urgency going for the puck there. It felt mm -hmm. like, you know, you don't want to overcommit and get yourself out of position, but they're not just conceding anything either. Penalty time is now over, so the Eagles kill off the second penalty of the game after being scored upon on the first opportunity for YZ. Tapped in deep here. Uh, oh, a beautiful a goal. Eagles will tie it up as Hall able to track it down and finds Mason Moe. Boy, that was a nice setup down the corner, dug it out, knew exactly where Moe was and got the puck to him, and he buried it right now. Nice play. He couldn't have drawn that up any better. And I think got a little bit of a piece of it, but I think it slipped in, in between his five hole here as we look at it. Took that one look and he saw his player coming and didn't see. I think it went through that five hole. Yep. You got a tie game. Hall will get the assist on the fifth goal of the year for Mo. And this one was offside here. So the Eagles battle back to tie it up shortly after killing off that minor penalty. Probably the, I would say the first really good chance of the game for them too. I mean, they had a couple others here or there that were okay. but So there really hasn't been all that much offense tonight for either team. But here we are at one to one now. Chip back to center. Floated across toward Cool, too far for him. Cool though jumps in and trying to free that puck up and almost did so. And so the Eagles have to flick it on out and it went out of play. I'm kind of surprised. Both teams have got pretty good goaltending here and uh, they've both gotten slammed pretty pretty good early here on these, these initial shots in tight. Off the draw, Eagles come up with it there, but Polchek Hall is able to get it across out of Mo. Townsend a shot, save. Ingeman rebound. Oh, and it's flicked out front. It's off Ingeman's pad. And now Cool sending it, trying to spring Kwasnicka, but too far. And it'll be icing against the Trojans. Ingeman got tested on that one. Yep. You see he's sliding back across and they tried to sneak it in five hole and nearly got it done. Well, he's one of the premier goalies in the state. In fact, a lot of people have said he's the best goalie in the state right now. And so he holds up here. KD St. Hubert sending it in deep here. Scoring. 
and get that puck advanced, and now they do get it out. Knocked away, though, from Townsend, and right back the other way. KD St. Hubert firing the shot. Ball knock. Had it fall out of his glove briefly, and then the Eagles not happy with uh, Jake Matson going to the net there. Jay, that's called Boys Will Be Boys. They are going to make a good shot here. Use the defense as a screen. And they yeah, crouched into the crease there, and defense don't like that. And you give the goalie a little uh, ice shower is never welcomed by his teammates either. Yeah. Warnwald came in to let him know. Turner on try there is stopped. And you kind of have to know the situation. When you get scored on on the first power play of the night, Yes, you want to protect your goalie, but you also want to, you know, let it lie and not not keep on. And I think both teams did a pretty good job of yes. separating after that. Yep. I'm always more impressed when somebody's tough when the puck's still in play, more so than when they come in with afterward and, <laughs> and throwing their gloves in and all that. You know what I mean? Oh, I, yeah, I'm I, with I, you. I, I love physical hockey. Don't get me wrong, but. Now here's Sanadol in the shot. That one was blocked and then it came out front. Trojan's able to clear it but not out as Trehan sends it down low, then pass flick towards Sanadol, but Miller, or excuse me, uh, Huff broke that up. The Eagles D is playing really tight. They're holding the line. In fact, they're sinking halfway down into the zone here to hold that puck and create some offense. We go under a minute to play here in the first, and an offside call there against Stephen Perry looks like. So we'll get a draw outside the zone. Yeah, the Eagles. I mean, if they were expected to be the underdog possibly here against the, the top ranked Trojans, doesn't look like it so far. I don't know. No, well, it's late conference. You know, we've got a lot of season to play yet. Don't go by the records yet. And really, you're hoping that your kids, rather than stepping back from a challenge, view it the other way as let's go in. We've got an opportunity to hand them their first loss. As Nika was shielded off that puck, trying to get to it here again. Eagles couldn't quite get it out twice in a row. Now cool up with it. Was Nika going to the net? He tried to bounce one to him. And those kind can be a little bit concerning for a goalie when they're bouncing like that. Paul Knock did a good job of getting down to smother it. Keep your body in front of me. Keep your body in front of me. You never know it's going to bounce from me. You know, when you look at the records, though, you got to understand, you know, the Eagles, they've all three of the losses were by one goal. And they've been slow starters. The second, third period are the best periods, not the first. Townsend with some good wheels as he cuts through center. Jabbed away from him by Jake Matson, And that's going to about do it as the first period will come to an end. Pretty even first period on the score, on the shot column, and just overall in the play. Our score after one is Eden Prairie won, YZ won. Uh, first period highlights and stats, and then our second period of hockey on the way next year. A snowy night out outside and some great hockey indoors here at Plymouth Ice Center on CCX. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is now available on Roku and Apple TV. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including daily newscasts and full sporting events. To find the app, go to the store and search CCX and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. Now available on Roku and Apple TV. We are at the pick, Plymouth Ice Center here for boys hockey in the Lake Conference. Eden Prairie NYZ tied up at a goal apiece after one period of play. It was uh, not a ton of chances in the first period, but obviously 
enough that uh, goalies had to make some saves and uh, got a goal piece here. And then we look at this first opportunity for Eden Prairie, a couple of whacks at it out front. And for Wyzetta, a shot put on that there that Paul Knox was able to glove and hang on to. Pretty good opportunity there off a little quick pass from Nika. And then a great recovery by the D here. Hoff yes. Hoff making the play there for the Trojans. There's the penalty, or the first penalty of the game is pouring. Called, and right away, why is that able to capitalize this? Huff, the defenseman, gets his first goal of the season and first goal as a Trojan. But Eden Prairie coming back as Hall made a nice play to the corner and puts it quickly onto the stick of Mo and wasted no time getting rid of that one to tie it up. And another good chance here, the wraparound off the rebound. Ingeman having to make a save and D. St. Hubert firing the shot, a little bit of a rebound. Jake Madsen went to the net and <laughs> found himself in a bad spot there. <laughs> and that's serving T and Crumpets in there. <laughs> There's a look at our uh, stats from the period. And, you know, uh, again, overall pretty even. The two penalties Eden Prairie took is and one of the differences. The first one was at a score, the second one they were able to kill. So staying out of the box, probably something that will be mentioned by the EP staff. We will take a break and get set for more hockey. The young guys out on the ice here, where they were all gathered while we were doing our pregame. They are excited to be here tonight and excited to get on the ice here in the intermission of this Trojans home game against Eden Prairie. One to one after one, we'll be back here to Plymouth Ice Center in a moment. Junior defenseman Hawk Huff getting his first career goal for YZ to put them on the board first. And then that was answered there by Mason Moe of Eden Prairie. So each team scoring once in that first period. And we get set for period number two here. Let's see what kind of adjustments these teams make. I mean, I thought it was a pretty straightforward period for the most part with just the two penalties. But other than that, I don't think there's, you know, anything uh, a lot that they would want to change. It just... Uh, it creates some offense a little bit, but both teams played well. Got yeah, pretty even period by both. Nobody had a definite advantage, but both took advantage of an opportunity when they got it. And this is going to go right down the wire. Wallen will face off against Townsend here to begin period number two. And we're underway here. Longer than usual intermission with that youth uh, game going on between two, so the team's had a little extra rest. Ooh, nice break up there. There were a couple Ooh. of Trojans walling in, plus Nika cutting to the net. Back, back into the Eagles zone here, chased down there by Block. Sending it around, Wallen trying to tip it to the point. Instead, it was knocked out. Mo getting giving chase Ooh. there and then a follow-up as it stayed in. Opportunity going right to the net. They had Wyzetta outnumbered on that side there, but uh, Townsend unable to put it on goal. Delayed offside against Wyzetta here and now carried out by Coring. Drops that pass over to Mo, waiting for some help coming off the bench. Here's a shot that sails high. Townsend trying to bring it to the middle there, but chopped away from him. Trojans bank it out to center. Matson a shot. That one directed away by Paul Knock. Yeah. 
Eagles able to get it out to center. Crowley over to Moe, but that one broken up. Nice step up there by Huff. Yeah. Back into Wyzetta zone, Huff sending it up to KD St. Hubert, and that rink right pass taken away. By Bornwald, and Trojans coming again over here. Put out oh, front, oh, oh, and a swing, and Miller had an opportunity out front. Both teams opened up well, defending between the blue lines, and all of a sudden, Wyzetta just got a quick break and got a good opportunity. Tried to center that one, knocked away, and now Coring keeping it in briefly at the line, but then Trojans get to it. Coring back to pick it up here, banking it ahead. Tap to Kleiss. Satterdahlen trying to free that puck up. Ingeman knocked it away, then it comes right back to him. Never really a shot on goal, but still bounced out front. Satterdahlen picking it up again here for the Eagles. His shot knocked down. Stick lost out front there. Now Gengler coming up the left side here for the Trojans. Plays that one in deep and he'll chase after it himself, trying to line up the defenseman corner in there a little bit. Yo, really considering the records, Jay, this has been a pretty back and forth game. No one's gotten real opportunity or a big advantage here. And they're just playing good up and down hockey. Another look at that pass. Boy, it just oh. got knocked away. Otherwise, it's a tap in there for uh, Miller. That's the third tip of that type of opportunity that the Eagles have had. They just haven't been able to cash in. Cool, bringing it up the middle over to Klasnicka. Oh. And then shot it just wide. I'm sure that might have been return pass expecting Poole to go to the net. Now the other way, Hall to Moe. Oh. Just off his stick as Findy St. Hubert got back to bother him. Kosnicka, they're offside. Oh. Well, good quick counterattacks by both teams on those last two shifts. They got an opportunity here, just couldn't get a handle on it. Mo just let it slip off a stick, and then Rosetta would come back and create another one. But yeah, we're, you're seeing both teams finding a way to generate offense a little bit more than what we saw, you know, in the first part of the yeah. game. I think. Yeah. Ingman sweeps it over to Hardall, and he ran into trouble, though. He goes up with it. That shot sailing wide. And it pops back up to center. Sauer couldn't quite reach it. Played back in. Hardall banking it ahead. Miller dropping it off now to KD St. Hubert. Oh, beautiful check. Yeah, ridden off it nicely. Just clean solid body use there with the hip. Here comes Townsend with speed up the left side here, but he was forced out wide and didn't really have any help coming. Ooh, Coring took a high <laughs> hit there from Sauer. Townsend fires, and that one sails high and wide. That's about five shots now that have missed the net. That is going to be a penalty. Yeah. Yeah, no, boy. At first, I didn't see the arm go up. I thought, hmm, they might have missed one there. But it, it, the call was made just by an official that was a little farther away and didn't see him immediately. But Sauer will be called for elbowing there. It was a, it was a pretty heavy hit, pretty physical. Well. Surprised. A lot of the shots that the Eagles are flying are just missing the net. Can't go in if you miss the net. First power play chance here for Eden Prairie. Coring fires Ingeman the save as he got it through that screen. Another try here. Ingeman the stop on a rising shot. He can't clear it though. Townsend whipping it around. 
It's a return and then oh. out front a little give and go and it trickled off Moe's stick. Cornwall. His shot deflected up and out of play there as uh, Krosnicka got out to him. Boy, Moe's had a really couple good opportunities there. He's just losing the handle on it. And, you know, you're going to have to really work hard to score on Will Ingeman there. He's one of the best, as we said, one of the best goalers. But the Craig's a good opportunity in this power play. Bornwald will slide it across. Corrin shot deflected wide. Mo up with it again. EP elected not to change their uh, power play unit there. They want that group out. Mm, we're going to have a penalty here against Mo for a hook. I did not really see that one develop. Yeah. But, so we're going to be even up now. Mason Moe will go off for hooking. It's going to leave Wyzetta with about a minute of power play when this is over. Brings a draw down to the other end as well. Torin getting it over to Earl. Satterdown briefly had it, but it squirted away from him. Alex Score back to play it. And then Ingeman deflects that one up and out of play. We'll get a faceoff coming up in the Wyzetta zone. So four on four hockey here for uh, 47 seconds. And as Dan said, it'll be just a, a minute, a slightly less power play coming for the Trojans. The Eagles are sticking with their original group there. Satterdahl on shot rises up over the net. Now it bounces free back to him here. Oh, and his oh. pass just got away there from Mo, who went down. Or Townsend, rather. Miller sliding it ahead to Alstead, and he takes a check from Block. Stayed after it, but Block also stayed after it and jabbed it to the corner. Halstead tied up behind the net. Pouring up with it. Trying to sneak one and bounces over to Satterdahlen and his backhander denied by Ingeman. Somehow that pass got through even though the defenseman tipped it. Penalty over for Wyzetta. They're now up five on four here for a little under a minute. And the Eagles will clear it down. Ingeman will stop it here and leave it for Jack Hartle. Well, now the Trojans will get their opportunity. See if they can get it in there and set it up. And oh, what a great check. Oh, wow. Reese Wallen had his pocket pick near the blue line. Kwasnicka receiving it here, now floating it across. Gets the return pass. His shot blocked. Follow up try, and that one will trickle wide to the corner. Huff. Oh. Almost took too long to get rid of that one. Penalty about to expire. Wall went into the circle trying to toe drag right there. Taken away and fresh out of the box. Perhaps a chance. Mo shooting and that one goes wide. Dump back into the Wyzetta zone here. So we stay at one to one through those penalties. Wallen goes down, Sauer jumping in to help out. Can't get it out though, played back down around by Bornwald. Ooh, dangerous pass there out front. Wallen now leading the rush, Krosnicka. They're two on two. Wallen the shot, and the rebound knocked wide as uh, Palmock was plowed into. And no arm up here, looks like it was legal. That's why you hit the net with those shots, but they almost created a good rebound goal there. Yeah, that's really was his intention. He knew he wasn't going to score on that first shot, but mm -hmm. just looking to put it into the pads of uh, Polnock and see if they can get a rebound opportunity. Cool. Ooh, nice pick off there by Coring, and he brings it right back in. Trying to put it out front. It was blocked. Earl kicks it loose to himself. 
Eagles playing hungry tonight. They've, yeah. they've been good effort pretty much throughout. Satterdahl's pass intercepted. Cool over to D. St. Huber. Now knocked away out of the circle there as Coring swings it back around towards Satterdahl. When we look at the records right now, we got to remember it's still early in the season here, and they're going to get better. Shot attempt block right there, and then the pass knocked away. Satterdahl using that long reach, but then a good recovery by White. Carried back in, and the shot attempt by Reisdorf was blocked. Satterdahl on back up with it, putting it out front. It comes all the way to the point. Ingham in the save. Oh, and then a rebound. Ooh. It just knocked it away in time. Matson throws it into the Eagle zone. Reisdorf back to pick it up. They don't get it out. Hardo putting it out front. Alstead trying to chase after it, and the Eagles able to pop it back out to the Wyzetta line. Hardo back to gather it here. Under seven to play in the second. No scoring here in this period. We remain at one to one. That pass off target, and they're going to rule. No, no ice there. Eagles were caught off guard a little bit. I thought the D could have made the play on it. Ooh, pass down low. Allstead now able to retrieve it. And now Allstead shooting rather than the first one with Jackson Hill. Little give Whoa. and go try there. Bounces through. Hardle keeps it in, though. And that'll be a hand pass called against the Trojans, 616. I think Reed and Prairie kind of happy with that. They needed a, they were getting bottled up in their own zone. They needed a change there. Watch this opportunity here as it comes flying by him and then Vaznicka run into him. Ooh, and he gave Vaznicka a little shot atop the head with that blocker. Goalies don't like having visitors. And he got a little physical too, so and the refs just kind of let it go if they saw it. I admit, I, I turned to follow the puck and didn't initially see the, yeah. the goalie swap there. As Nika carrying it here for the Trojans. Wallen calling for it out front, but they couldn't get it to him. Now thrown wide. Wallen up with it. As Nika playing it back to the point. And get it back down to that corner with Wallen. But Townsend was there, but a nice hit by Cool freeing it up. To the point. Sauer shooting, and there's a kick save made by Polnock, but they can't get it out. Why is that really Ooh. putting pressure on? Kvesnicki is having an excellent shift here, by the way. He's really controlled it well in the offensive zone and kept it in there with the four check. Going back in. And the Eagles will end up icing it here. The ice has tilted in Wyzetta's favor these last couple shifts, that's for sure. It's almost like shooting the puck uphill to get it out of They needed that press, but boy, Wyzetta's really turned it on. Wyzetta trying to get that pressure to Result in the go ahead goal here. They back to back to back good shifts here. Dumped into the corner. Pouring up to pick it up. Gibson Couch carrying it hard up that left side. He keeps it going. Try to wrap around Ingham and got over there to stop it. Puck freed up, but the Eagles would have been offside, so Chase Blue had to hang on there and wait. Carried out front by score, and then they turn it over. That oh. the pass comes right back to score, and nobody more relieved than him that Eden Prairie gave it back. Don't make a behind the back pass. That's never good. And Earl whistles one wide. Jackson Hill back the other way. Knocked away from him, though, before he could make a move with it. Allstead picks it back up, though. And that pass broken up by Trehan. Gengler circling back and banked to the head. Let's see if they're going to have icing here. Yes. Yes. 
Ooh, look out, the Eagles are hot, man. They're putting on the heat right now. Good forechecking here from the red line in on the Trojans and getting them bottled up quite a bit. A little under four to go in this second period and one to one remains our score. Each team scoring in the first period about four minutes apart. Right now the Eagles are out shooting was that a 15 to 11 and it showed in these last few minutes here. Finn D. St. Hubert over to Hartle. Return pass here. Nothing easy though getting out. Gengler up the left side here, but he's met. Comes into the Eagles zone. Jackson Hill giving chase, but was beaten to it. But Alstead, nice follow up. Gengler throwing a check, but the Eagles are able to keep it moving. And taken back though by Kwasnicka. And right back the other way we go now. Saturday. Waiting, trying to drop it back to the point, Ooh. but it was a little behind the intended target there, Tommy Mullen. Mullen will get the return pass here. Townsend now. Oh, and Alstead picks that off. Alstead looking to get some space. Ooh, it's loose out front. As Nicka was kind of ridden down there, I'm a little surprised the arm didn't go up. Hall to Townsend. And the Eagles with Moe. Towns and trying to put it out front, but too many sticks in the way, and it'll come all the way back. Wow, Paul not coming way out to sweep it aside. Yeah. A penalty coming Andrew up. Cool was knocked down as he pursued that puck, and it'll result in a penalty here. The Eagles a hook. I think it might be going to be is it? Yeah, let's see who they're sending it. Well, Jibba Cool making a. Being a pain in the neck, just doing a great job and gets a power play for the Trojans. Nobody went to the box for Eden Prairie, and uh, nobody volunteering, and the uh, score bench buzzing. <laughs> uh, we understand there's a penalty. We got the door open, however, nobody went in. What was the number? What was the number? It was three. No, they're going to get Reisdorf, it looks like, number eight. Whether that's right or not, he's the one that will uh, get it. It's a heck of a coaching move. Yeah. <laughs> well, you never volunteer to just go if they don't you know, specifically send you there or they maybe just didn't understand or hear the referee. And well, usually they'll get right up to you and say, number three, you're going for right. looking, you know. Here's Wallen getting it to pool and back out. Cool, trying to cut it to the middle. Now Wallen. Matson slides down hard. And clearing attempt to uh, hit a teammate. Otherwise, Eden Gray would have gotten that one out clean. Matson. Keeps possession here. Now Kwasnick up. Chopped away from him, but it comes to Matson anyway. And now Kwasnick up. He's seen Hubert. Now they whip it around. Oh. Cool shot. Knocked down in front and a follow up try into the chest of Polnock. And he'll hang on with Matson camped out front. That was, that was just a real gritty shift all the way around here by the Trojans. Eden Prairie's pushing on him real hard, and boy, they've got some nice opportunities there, but they were holding up well to their physicalness. 55 to go in the power play here for Wyzetta. Hartle dropping it down low. Back over to Cade D. St. Hubert out front. Oh, and a nice save, and then a follow up, and another stop, and then it's not in. Third one went toward an empty net as Polnock was scrambling back into place, but unable to put it away after he made the first two nice saves. The crowd anticipating a goal here got a little ahead of themselves. I have to admit, I thought it was going in too. Yeah, we both did. Under a minute to go in the period. 
Under 15 to go in the power play for YZ as they almost scored to go ahead. Alstead has it chopped away. D. St. Hubert's drop pass, and now Satterdahl went up with it. Penalty is over. Half minute in the period. Satterdahl dropping it back. Here's a shot that hits traffic in front. Kate D. St. Hubert knocks it ahead. Still got time for one more rush, maybe here. Alstead's going to dump it in. And get a change. Good play. A few seconds left. Townsend. Trying to get it out, couldn't do it. Long oh. shot sails over the top from Poole. And we will reach the end of period number two. No scoring in the period, so we stay at one to one. Although Wyzetta came awful close late in the period on a power play opportunity. A couple of stops and then one that just misses. See that first one, he's just in good position, couldn't cover it. And then the next one hits the pipe. So, one to one, Eden Prairie and Wyzetta here on CCX. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is now available on Roku and Apple TV. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on demand library, including daily newscasts and full sporting events. To find the app, go to the store and search CCX and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. Now available on Roku and Apple TV. Welcome back here to Plymouth Ice Center along with Dan Pick and I'm Jay Wilcox. Eden Prairie and Wyzetta tied up at 1-1 one -one here in Lake Conference Boys Hockey. Both of the goals coming in the first period as we check out highlights from period number two. It, it didn't lack for chances, even though neither team able to put one away in that period. As Here's Wyzetta getting an opportunity to pass flipped over and actually Crowley, the winger, coming back to break that one up or it probably would have been a goal. And then that one just hopping off Moe's stick as he was being back checked there. This bouncing pass somehow found its way to Satterdahlen, but he ended up putting the shot wide. And Wallen shooting, looking for the rebound up front with Kwasnicka, and then he gets conked over the head by the netminder Polnock there as well. Here's a pretty good shot on that. Ingeman made the save, and the Trojans cleared. And then a couple of, Wyzetta had a brief run of kind of uh, good oh. chances generated here, back-to-back -back tries there. And then here's one that I thought was going in. One save, two saves, and then watch 19 Miller putting it right square into the goalpost there. Looked like he had the Paul knock beat, and he did, but it didn't yeah. quite go in. And so you see how relatively even things have been. Eden Perry now a one-shot advantage overall through two periods. We judge the scoring chances to be even through two, and the Eagles have taken a few more penalties. That's uh, the one difference in the power play goal early for Wyzetta. One period of hockey to go here. A snowy night outside, and Wyzetta and Eden Prairie tied up at one apiece here at the Plymouth Ice Center. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is now available on Roku and Apple TV. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including daily newscasts and full sporting events. To find the app, go to the store and search CCX and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. Now available on Roku and Apple TV. And welcome back as you could look there at Isaiah Palmack loosening up for period number three and Hawk Huff who had the uh, lone Wyzetta goal here this evening. So a one-to-one -one hockey game Wyzetta right now. One tie on their record against defending state champ Andover. And uh, but you know certainly getting their hands full here tonight and Rogers up and coming program yeah. they're ranked number two now. And, we also got Maple Grove from the area ranked number six and Benilde at number 10. And 
interesting seasons again here as you would expect why is that off to this very fast start and they've certainly been among the better teams in the state in recent years but I don't think been quite off to this fast of a start for a little while here so they are they're hoping to keep playing at a high level I, I would guess after two that they're a little disappointed right now that it's one to one you know? yeah I mean Eden Prairie this on paper isn't one of their best teams but they have come to play they have and of course the stats indicate a little bit different story so here we go in the third penalty boxes are empty as it's dumped on into the Trojan zone and then that pass too far it'll be an icing call coming against Wyzetta here well Jay this piece is going to come down to who wants it real simple it's been that even now just somebody's got to step up somebody's got to make a play Off the draw, it comes to Moe. That shot knocked down. And we talk a lot about the goalies, but a lot, both these teams have done a nice job of blocking shots here tonight, too. It's not been too easy to get pucks through. Moe takes a hit there from Hartle. I think that's been the surprise for the Eagles, too. Their defense has been very good. Stopped a couple back doors on Wyzetta a few times. Good positioning, good play. Now this is a Wyzetta team that I think maybe has a little more firepower than some of their recent ones, but it has been generally shut down here tonight. Here's Cool, dropping it back. Wasnicka, and trying to get it back to Cool. Now he puts it out front. Cool was all tied up though by the defenseman Bornwald. Well, right there, Jay. That's the story. They're shutting down the middle. They will not let the Eagles in that slot. Trojan. I'm sorry, Trojan's in that slot. Thank you. <laughs> cool, flipping it over here. And offside. Cade D. St. Hubert receiving that pass. They were timing just a little bit off there as they, they thought they might have had a little bit of an odd man rush situation there with the trailer. Yeah, he was lining it up, he was ready to rocket it. Miller. Had oh. his stick lifted as he tried to get that shot away. Now a shot attempt here and then bounces over to the corner. I'm guessing why Zeta coaches, it doesn't like they played really poorly, but I think they're probably asking for a little more urgency here in this third period. You know, we they had some good shifts, but they, they're thinking, you know, we need to really step up the tempo a little bit here. Matson. Checked off. Wow, nice back check there by Bornwald. I think that's been the difference for the Eagles. Their back checking has been absolutely great. Ooh, that one tipped out front, but Paul not directing it away. Played back in behind the net. Alstead trying to keep it alive, and now out to the point. That shot, though, blocked. Earl up with it here for Eden Prairie. He's going to try and drive it in. He hit the Howdy. pads of Sauer. Now it comes free to Satterdahl, but his shot attempt blocked by Huff. And that will go up and out of play here. So a whistle to stop play. 14.28 to go. In the third, we remain at 1-1 one one here. Wyzetta and Eden Prairie. Both teams will be in holiday tournament action next week. Wyzetta playing in the new event uh, hosted by Maple Grove. The Premier Holiday Classic in the Grove. It's a, kind of a round robin thing. So they'll be playing Blake, Creighton, and Maple Grove in their three games. And a similar uh, situation, the tradition tournament at the Dakota Arena uh, for Eden Prairie. Pouring back to receive it here. And get it out, but then picked up by score for Wyzetta, and he'll fling it back in. Wyzetta needs to tag up here, and now they do. Tip to the Wyzetta line, and now get it back out of there. Wallen trying to get ahead of steam here. Wallen trying to play it to himself. Peltier did a pretty good job staying with it. Kick loose, Townsend retrieving for the Eagles as he spins back. Knocked away from him. 
I haven't seen a race in practice or anything, but I would venture Townsend might be their fastest skater based on what I've seen tonight. Yeah, yeah good point. Faceoff coming up in the Eden Prairie zone here. Well, so far the forechecking of Rosetta showed itself here in this period. If they can keep that going, they're going to create something for themselves. And here it is right there as Plasnicka trying to free it up, but then Moen chopped it away from him. Finn de St. Hubert back to play it here for Wyzetta. Hardo will give it back to him here as they get the breakout going. Tipped oh. on and a hit Wallen in the back of the leg. They had to hold up or they would have been offside there. Eagles coming back the other way. Mo got it over to Hall and it bounced off his stick as he tried to center it. Then a shot knocked down by Cool. Hall bothered there by Cool again. And then poked away by Wallen, trying to go right up the middle. And what? No penalty call there. Wow. Like. Cool for Kwasnicka. And his drop pass, nobody was home anyway, even if they'd gotten through. Now we come back the other direction. Mo takes a check. And that pass misfires. It'll be icing here against the Trojans. And a look as you'll see uh, Wallen go down here. Let's see if this one. Oh, yeah. That yeah. would be a classic hook. Probably should have been a hook there on Moen, I think. You're right. yeah. Well, the refs are going to let him play. Let the boys decide it. I got no problem with that. Matson takes a bump. And that one I think hit somebody who was on the bench there. So we'll have a face off coming up. I was just thinking in a lot of recent seasons, Dan, you probably would have said why Zeta doesn't want to get into a speed game with Eden Prairie. But I think this year that maybe isn't quite the case. They they would like to, especially when they got that first the wall and cool was Nikolai. They want the, the ice to be spread and faster game. Yeah. Yeah, you hit it right on the head, I agree. 100%. You kind of saw that in the turkey trot, how much more they had speed this year. And Will the physical game make a difference tonight? Hmm, let's see. Blocker save there by Paul Knock. And I would say by late conference standards, it hasn't been, you know, probably not the most physical game. There's certainly been some hitting for sure. But I think the, the, the more teams are going to be able to you know, lean on the other and use that to their advantage for the remainder of this game that might prove to be the difference. Well, I think you look at the youth programs, too, of, of the teams in that conference. They build it on skating. They all get skaters. Eden Prairie, Wazetta, Edina, you name it. Um, Minnetonka. Yep. Category two for sure. Centering pass here off of Paul Knox's goal stick. And now the Eagles back the other direction. Saturday. Floating that pass through. Going to be a penalty coming up against Wyzetta. Probably an interference here. Yep. Oh, looks, like, looks like it will be interference. interference. Okay. They are going to send score to the box here as that little pass floated, trying to flick it between them. Oh. The, I think, I think oh. he knocked, knocked the stick out of his hands. Must have been yeah. kind of what led to that one, but I don't know. Didn't seem like a whole lot. Might have been a makeup call. So a key power play opportunity here for EP, but Isetta quickly gets a possession and Finn D. St. Hubert with the clear. Well, we're looking at an 82% effective penalty kill by the Trojans here. But Eden Prairie's power play is running at 12%. Back and they're able to keep keep possession for the moment in the way Klasnicka knocks it out. Coring oh, almost lost it there to Klasnicka. Wallen chasing in hard. Had a couple of pretty dangerous forwards out there on the kill here for Wyzetta too. If, if Eden Prairie you know, has a mishap with the puck out high, they could be looking at trouble going the other direction. 
Here's Mo walking in, shooting off the tip of the glove of Ingeman. Back out to Mo. He'll interchange with Townsend here. Way across with it, but mostly fanned on it. Ingeman sliding across, knocked the net off. So we'll get a face off here in the Wyzetta zone. 46 to go on the power play. And there's that. Yeah, he was not. <laughs> He's uh, demonstrating there that he thought Ingman might have done that on purpose a little bit. Well, Hawk Huff was standing behind him in front of the net and just jabbing at him and jabbing at him with the cross jab. Uh, not knocking him down, but just keeping him really uncomfortable. I think that's what he was doing. Yeah, you're about. right. You're right. Now that I look at it again, the motion that he's making with more of that than anything to do with the net coming off. There is a shot that deflects wide. Oh, here's a chance down low, and the pass knocked away from Owen out. So, pretty good kill here for Wyzetta. And Eden Prairie hasn't really got anything going much on this man advantage. Their power play has had problems this year. They've got to get that fixed. Or, you know, that, that can be a real good scoring opportunity. Towns in a shot. Ingham in the save. Under 10 to go in the power play. One more try to get it in here. Towns in. Penalty is now over. Down low. Mo walking in. And wow, they left that one for Ingeman to handle as they kind of got caught out of position and Mo had a great opportunity to just walk right to the net. Probably one of the bigger lapses defensively of the night for Wyzetta, but Ingeman covered up for it. It's kind of nice having an all-state goalie in your net. It makes life a lot easier. Now, admittedly, this isn't, you know, he didn't have a great angle, though the whole ice to work with or anything, but that's still more room than they would have liked to have allowed. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This shot sailing up over the top. So we'll see what this one does to the momentum of the game, if anything. Sometimes the team that kills it gets momentum off of that, but sometimes the team, even if they don't score, they've gotten used to being uh, in the offensive zone and getting something going. Mm -hmm. Ooh, things get a little physical down in the corner there. Yeah, and they're going to stop. I think they'll take them both, yeah. As uh, Jacobson Couch. Got all locked up there. Can't see the where is that a number though. It looks like uh, Jake White. And neither guy was going to back down. And I think it's you know you don't like to stop playing necessarily, but it, it just it was a pretty easy call to take them both oh, here yeah. the way it looked. He kind of got into the feet of White, and then he came back with a little shot and got up high with a shot. And they wrestled a little bit. Boys being boys. Plaznicka. Now cool firing with that one sails out and rings all the way around. Wallen deflecting Perfect. it in and gets to it himself with a shot going wide though and then it'll trickle all the way back out to center. Here is Wallen trying to go to the net. Nice poke check there. And let's see, it stayed in. Not for long, though, as the Eagles back the other way. Across for Earl. Earl looking to return it out front, but solid job on the back check by Huff. Now Wallen. I've been impressed with Huff so far. He's played really solid, solid defense. Cool, putting it out front for Kwasnicka, but it goes just wide. And then he was sent sprawling. I was just thinking earlier, I got a feeling that this line for Wyzetta on the bench said, we're, we're going out to get one right now. I yeah. mean, they all of a sudden were great sense of urgency getting after it. And they almost put one away. Cool, lost it to Townsend down low. Here's the chance. Ingham in the stop. And Krasnicka was gassed. The puck came toward him, but he was heading off. And it's offside here against Eden Prairie. 7.15 to go and a one-to-one. -one. Another look at this opportunity on the rush. Cool to Kwasnicka. And then just sprawling out. He got a stick on it, but couldn't direct it on that. Just the fact that he got a stick on it, Jay, was just fabulous. My gosh. And yeah. in hindsight, there are good no call at the end, too. I mean, he, yeah. it, there was a little contact with the goalie, but it was nothing either way that should have resulted in the penalty on that thing. 
Hall up with it. Taken away though, right out by Miller. Well, it's just got to be a little careful here. They're getting a little wild with the sticks, especially on the cross checks, and they're going to call one if they don't if they don't stop it. Miller sliding it across here to Matson. Be St. Hubert giving chase here, but the Eagles get there. Block. Ooh, fan on his pass, but Alstead couldn't quite get there in time to do anything with it. Score sends it back in deep. Alstead takes a check. Breakout pass coming across here now for Moe. He stood up though. I don't think you can quite say next goal wins, but in this game that stayed 1-1 mm -hmm. for a long time, I think the next one's going to be huge. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, I would agree with you. I, you know, I, you're going to hear more about Eden Prairie here before the season's over with, Jay. They're playing a really good hockey game, and I don't think the record indicates how good they are. Pass floated ahead to Treharn. Twice. Carrying it oh. up the middle makes a nice move. Ingerman stayed right with it though. Allstead carrying it, takes a check, got it into the zone, but right back out it'll come. Sticks getting a little high there as they battled into the corner. Now Kwasnicka, that line back out there for you. Why is that up and knocked away? Right up the middle there by Dawson Miller. Boy, Eden Prairie showing some confidence. Yep. They got some fourth liners who are getting a little time here late in this game. And oh. offside as Krasnicka sent it to Wallen. What a nice move in there, and he almost pulled it off, but Will Engerman holding tight. Johnny Kleiss with a good move in that there for the Eagles. Right now it's been the Eagles period so far. They've gotten the better opportunities. They're really pushing hard. Trying to get it to Earl down deep. Sauer is there first. Now Peltier uh, and deflects into the corner off of Earl. I see a lot of this uh, Wallen cool Kwasnicka line here I think down the stretch. Yeah. And not able to do anything with that rush though. Earl chopped away from him, and now the race is on. Cool coming after it, putting it out front for Kwasnicka. Cool did a good job using his body. Now Kwasnicka up with it, and that shot will go to the corner. I think they're a little tired at the end of the shift there though. Perfect. Huff. Trying to float it in. It hits traffic. They'll get it in on the second try as Wyzetta trying to finish a change. Ooh, Hartle just got a piece of that. Or Alex Hall might have been in. D. St. Hubert up with it. And that one deflects away. A big long bounce though. And now chance the other way. Townsend getting it over to Hall. Back for Townsend. Oh, a nice job on the back check by Miller. That's why Luke Miller's wearing that C. A great, a great back checking effort. D. St. Hubert flicking it ahead toward Miller here. They throw a heavy four check in. The Eagles, though, didn't panic. Get it out to center, anyhow, here, and then dump back in off a of skate. Isaiah will change up here. A little over three minutes to go. It's a one to one hockey game. Well, right now, Jay, every one-on-one -on -one battle is important and, and very crucial. The first one that makes a mistake is going to get nailed. Gengler, a long shot. Big rebound comes back to him. Oh, and then oh. his pass at the side of the net. It's strange it's really turned into end-to-end -end here a lot more late than what it's been for most of the night. Well, both teams are playing exceptionally well defensively, and, of course, Ingerman in the net for Wyzetta has really held tight, but Eden Prairie's playing very tough D. Allstead circling the net. Now it comes back to him, but then he fanned on the next pass. Hartle will get there first across to Sauer. 
Dumped right back into the in Prairie zone as Wyzetta changes up, get that first line back out. Coring. And the Eagles will relay it back in. I, I find it fascinating, though, how the, the style of the game has changed kind of late here. Here's a shot by Satterdahl and a blocker save there. We've seen a lot more end-to-end -end stuff. Well, they bridled up the skirts and they're going for it, by gosh, I'll tell you, it's fun to watch here. Block getting over to that loose puck and will send it in. Ingeman stopping it, a minute 45 to go. And chop back out. Earl will float one in, and that one went up and out of play. I don't know that that's exactly what England wanted to happen there, but it'll be a faceoff in the Wyzetta zone. Just the fact he took a shot and he got it on net, and it was kind of a flutter ball. You never know those things. They can change direction quick on you. Eden Prairie's played a heck of a game here. They are, they're showing me something. Miller flipping the pass here to Cade DeSaint Hubert in on the rush, shooting it wide. Long Karam and right back the other way now, a two on two rush for the Eagles, but well handled there by Hoff. Hoff across to Finn DeSaint Hubert. Now Cade DeSaint Hubert. Little back pass. Miller trying to give it back to the trailer, but knocked away there from Finn DeSaint Hubert. Under a minute to go here in the third. We stay tied at one to one. Overtime looming. Ahead here to Cade D. St. Hubert. He's alone for the moment. He makes a nice move. Walk into the net. Big rebound. Claus Nick. Oh, oh no. stop. Paul not getting over to stop that one. Now Townsend back the other way. Sauer directed her way to the corner. Townsend in the circle oh. over for Hall, but jabbed away by Hartle. Under 25 to go here in the third. Townsend up with it for the Eagles. Carried in behind. Block, a shot, oh. and that one hit the outside of the net. Moe sending it to the circle. Return pass, knocked away, but they can't clear. That shot knocked down. And we're going to get to the end of regulation here. And still tied up at one to one. An exciting third period down the stretch here. Please, and may I have some more, sir? Yeah, oh, my exactly. gosh. Bonus hockey will come out here. Wow. Look at some of the chances down the stretch here. Nice little move by DC and Hubert. And then a deflect boy and Kwasnicka. If that had come just a little bit more to the center of the ice. It was a great recovery, though, by Palmock to get over there. And then Eagles getting some chances as well. And it's, it's just been an up and down game. Get a, good, get a good look at Coach Pat. Pat O'Leary watching from up above here. He had to sit out a suspension dating back to last game here. So uh, we go to overtime here, and uh, the Eagles... I think if you started the night, they would have definitely said, we'll take heading to overtime and take our chances when they come in three and four against the team that's ranked number one. And Wyzetta, I think, kind of down the stretch, started to really feel a sense of urgency and started to really go. Will it be enough, though, to get a win? They had a tie their last game. They're trying to, to uh, stay unbeaten and obviously like to get a, a leg up and a, a win here in the late conference win as well. Well, they put on a nice late charger in the last two minutes. They set up some nice plays in front and really made Polak, you know, work to get his saves. But the Eden Prairie defense has been real good about keeping that, that slot area clean of white jerseys. So that's affected them quite a bit. But let's see what happens here. I thought it was interesting, too, especially for Eden Prairie. We were seeing some third and even fourth line guys mixing in a little bit late in the game and I, it always feels like to me there's that that as a coach you know do you want your best players out there all the time but tire them out or do you want to keep rotating and you know it just shows if you have confidence in those guys who maybe are your third or even fourth line guys to put them out there in a game like this yeah 
We've got some hockey action for you next week as uh, Armstrong Cooper off to a pretty good start this year in boys hockey. They'll be hosting Elk River on uh, Tuesday night. We'll have that one for you live on CCX. And then a couple of games from the first night of the Armstrong Cooper Girls Holiday Classic. Uh, Lossier Park Center taking on two rivers in the first game on Thursday, the 29th, and then the host Armstrong Cooper taking on Bemidji, and then the following week we'll have another good girls hockey matchup, and you get to see uh, Maple Grove last evening, and they'll be taking on Rogers, and which should be a good one right uh, as we start the new year. That should be a pretty good game, that Maple Grove Rogers. I'm looking forward to the tournament, too, to take a look at some new teams. Two rivers, Osseo Park Center. Well, this one's anybody's game. You can flip a coin. I mean, it's just who wants it more at this point. But this has been an exceptional hockey game. It's featured everything. We've got speed, good stick handling, good movement, shot, good shots and opportunities. It's been fun. I could watch this all night. Trojans win the draw here. Ahead to Cool. Here's Wallen. Oh, oh. his pass knocked away. Then it comes up front. Oh, my. He almost banked that one in off the back of the leg of the goaltender, Palma. Townsend carries it up the left side, and that shot attempt denied on the back track. Cool had it jabbed away. Wallen trying to get to it as he was checked. Now it does find its way to Reese Wallen. Now Kwasnicka back to Wallen. Ran into a check there. Alex Hall up with it. He'll fling it across. Well, at this point, James, like, get some pucks on net. Don't mess around and try and get cute. Get it in deep and forecheck the heck out of it. D. St. Hubert's pass broken up by Earl. And it's going to be an icing call against Eden Prairie. Not really what you want to do in OT, but a little panic there. A little panic. KD St. Hubert taking the draw here for the Trojans. And now it comes loose. Huff trying to get to it. Kept it in, but couldn't get a shot away. Now Crowley gets it out for Eden Prairie. Hoff up with it, though, for the Trojans. Matson leaving it to St. Hubert, trying to get it to Miller. It was a little behind him. Centering pass knocked down. That one, I think, also again hit a Wyzetta player who was on the bench. So we'll get a draw here. 6.27 to go in OT. Eden Prairie trying to upset the number one ranked Wyzetta Trojans here. Yeah, life gets a little tough when you got that number one rating right next to you. People want to come play you. They're going to get their best effort. Yeah, I think there's no doubt that that's true. And in a lot of recent years, there's no question Wyzetta has been a very good team. But as I said, they haven't necessarily started out this hot, so sometimes it's been maybe the other way around where they've been the one trying to knock off a, yeah. you know, a, a high-rated Edina team or Eden Prairie or whatever. Satterdahl and up with it here for the Eagles. Walking in, puts it out front, Ooh. deflects away. Now floated out to the Eden Prairie line here. Halstead poke checked it away. Now he does come up with it. Alstead playing it ahead to himself. Gengler going to the net. Ooh, and a sneaky one. The whistle blew as it was up, kind of handcuffed uh, Paul Knock a little bit. There. Definitely. That almost slipped in short side high. And he never really caught it. They got a little bit of a break on that quick whistle. I think he took it on the side of the head, actually. Yeah, he's, he's real worried about it, too. You see how plus he is? <laughs> Wozniaka trying to push it out front there for Wyzetta. Now they'll come to the point. Bindi St. Hubert relaying it down low. Mm -hmm. 
Poole playing it back for Kwasnicka. Wallen is there as well, and he'll try and chase it to the corner. Oh my, Poole looked like he nailed somebody away from the puck there. I'm surprised it wasn't interference, even an OT. Well, these refs are showing a tendency to put the whistles away here and just let the kids play. The goalie Paul Knock was. <laughs> He was raising his arm like, I, did you see that? <laughs> I, I, I don't want to say too much because I may not have seen it, you know, in the entirety, but it sure looked like Cool ran and threw a hit into somebody when the puck was not there. Moen back to pick it up here for the Eagles. 4.40 to go in OT. And now he's forced back a little bit. And he didn't want to hang on to the puck too much here. Tate Block. They're able to bank it out. And now over to KD St. Hubert leading the rush up the middle. To Matson. Matson throwing it at the net. That one goes to the corner. Tipped around Hartle. Now Eagles able to get it on in as Jacobson Couch had it knocked away. Matson's pass deflected the center. Earl will fling it right back in. Under four to play now in OT. Tapped ahead. Here's Allstead putting it out front. Chance for Gingler. Oh. And he scores. Oh. Game winner for Brooks Gingler. <laughs> Bill Rooney's got a smile on his face as wide as the state of Montana, for heaven's sakes. Wow. It was going to take a really good play to beat, beat these goalies, and boy, Wyzetta came up with a beauty. Couldn't have drawn that up any better. Yeah, they all count the same, but it's kind of fun when you get a real nice one on a, on yeah. a winner instead of one that bounces off a skate or something uh, ugly. Cheap flutter puck. Boy, a really nice job of seeing the ice there for the Trojans oh. as Gangler, because from up high, we can see that they've got somebody on the left wing open. Yep. Yep. Will they find him? And uh, absolutely they did. And he timed it just well, just perfect. Caught the defense a little flabbergasted off step from the pass and then buried it. Wow. Well, that's not a bad way to head into the holiday break for the Trojans, right? Yeah, absolutely. Alstead with a great pass, and Gengler didn't rush it there. Nope. A lot of times people are thinking, I've got to get rid of it in a hurry and just one time it, but. He made a nice little move and tucked it past Paul Knox. So second goal of the season for the junior Brooks Gengler and Allstead, giving him a great assist as well. And Wyzetta will stay undefeated and pull out a win. Although, like you said, Dan, there was an awful lot to like for Eden Prairie tonight. This, oh, this yeah. team is going to play with anybody if they play like this. Yeah. We'll hear more from them before the season's out here. And I think Adina is down this year, so this might be the two teams in the in the lake that are going to come through. All right, Adina took it through Eden Prairie pretty good there just a few days ago, though. So I'll, I'll, I know, I'll, I know. I'll throw that in there, but <laughs> uh, a nice win for Wyzetta, and again, uh, really exciting, really fun hockey game here tonight as we head into the uh, winter break for these teams and schools here. Hope you have enjoyed the action. And happy holidays from all of us at CCX for Dan Ficken and the rest of our crew, MJ Wilcox. Your final score in this one, Wyzetta 2, Eden Prairie 1 in OT.